Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my backpack. Um, I take the same backpack to clinic and class. We don't really need specific things for clinical. We just bring ourselves and or um, clinical workbooks. So, but you'll see that. So. so this is my backpack. Pretty simple, basic. Um, I don't have a million and one books in this bag. As you can see, it's pretty light, but I carry my laptop on the side and my binder. So let's start with what's in my backpack. And my textbooks are on the side too, but I'll get to that. So basically it's pretty simple. I don't, I don't really have a lot of things in here. I have highlighters. I actually usually have a lot of highlighters because I like to color coordinate and highlight um, notes with multiple colors. My classmates always ask me, doesn't that like make your head hurt? But I don't know what it is. I like to like have different colors as I make my notes. I don't like when the entire page is in one color. Like that's what drives me crazy. So then I have pens. Some people prefer pencils, I prefer pens. I just use these to make notes as my teacher is talking, even though I do make my notes on my laptop, but like certain points that I feel are really, really important, I like to jot them down on a piece of paper in my binder. Let's see, what else is in here? Keep a protein bar in my bag because I'm always hungry, so gotta have a snack. I keep sticky notes in my bag because if I need to remember something, I like to just like put this in my binder or on top of on the top of my binder actually so when I get home I can see it and remember it just stick it right on I keep these CME forms in my bag because I don't want to forget them we give these to the techs that help us out they get like six credit hours I think toward their CMEs at the end of our rotation um, which they have to renew like every three or four years I don't remember how many years but yeah have to keep all my IDs in like because you can't get into the clinical without these so keep them in my bag or in my car actually I keep them in my car sometimes but yeah what else do I have in here painkillers like you never know when something a headache is gonna chip in you're stressed I'm just kidding just I just keep painkillers in my bag lotion because if you know when you're in the health field if you're in the hospital when you're in the hospital you wash your hands like five million times and your hands will get dry even though they have like the moisturizing soap or whatever my hands get so dry because I'm washing it like a million times per day after every patient after I touch everything like I'm washing my hands so definitely keep some lotion in your bag I have an umbrella because I live in Florida and the weather is insane like it rains I will go out there and it's um, sunshine and then I'm leaving and it's raining so I have to keep this in my bag at all times I have gum of course because I'm always chewing gum it's just a thing always chewing gum um, and then lastly this is my little log book it looks very beaten up right now because it has been with me through the years and I'm almost done so this is where I log all my my um, exams that I've done. And I had a different one before this, by the way. But just keep a nice pocket one, like small, because you're going into exam rooms. You don't want to have a big notebook. Like that's just not convenient. This you can like put in your little scrub pocket or something like that. Just keep a nice pocket book. Is that what it's called? Pocket size book, whatever it is. And that's it for my backpack and then I have my laptop of course which can't fit in my bag but that's what I make all my notes on so we have PDF files or PowerPoints we just pull those up in class and make our notes as the teacher goes along and my planner I don't have a book planner I keep it on my laptop also during my um, in my calendar section on my computer that's where I write everything that's due and stuff because it reminds me I prefer it that way 
writing stuff down in a planner just hasn't worked for me because I'll still forget stuff because I'm not gonna be checking my planner every two seconds and I will forget things but having it pop up on my laptop and remind me on my phone and my laptop that's what helps me so this is my oh I have some loose stuff in here as you can see this is my binder so I carry this in my hand with my laptop so I'm it's crazy but I prefer a binder I'm not gonna walk around with a million one notebooks I just have a binder with loose leaves and yeah so I just keep all my notes write them down in my binder each day just it's kind of messy here but this is my binder where I write all my notes so basically I'll make notes on my PowerPoint on my laptop but then when I come home and I'm studying I'll write certain things out and highlight it and do this and do that because once you write something out it helps you to memorize and then reading out loud that's another tactic and those work for me so i can't just listen in class and follow through the part when i have to come home and write certain things out for it to stick in my head see bunch of bunch of highlighting and um craziness it's like a lot of notes and then if you're under the impression that we walk around with um 10 thousand books we don't i mean you don't have to you can in the beginning some students did i never did that because i was not gonna break my back um just like some nursing students they have like those roller bags because they have a million textbooks we don't do that i don't even think all nursing students do it but for sure we don't the teachers usually have what they or they'll tell you which book to bring to class on a certain day, if you have multiple classes, right now I have only one class, which is Echo. So it's not hard, it's just one book. But even even in this case, I don't bring this book to class. Like, I leave it at home because we go through a PDF file or a PowerPoint. We're not reading through the textbook. This is done on our own time. However, we do have this pocket manual that you can bring in your bag and it fits perfectly in there. Um, and this is like most sonographers that are echocardiographers they have this in their in their bag or they keep it at work in their little desk because it's a good reference book so any numbers and stuff like that they can always look back in it it's very concise and it's just a quick reference so this is highly recommended if you're gonna be doing cardiac sonography but yeah, that's what's in my backpack and that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe down below and I'll be back in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.